West Village, a district at the intersection of history and modern creative expression, is an area bursting with new shops and sustainable fun around every corner. Our journey of exploration begins with Sailor and Dock, a sustainable collective supporting local micro merchants. So Sailor in a Dock stands for the dock where sailors, who are those who take risks and go into the waters, who are risk takers and entrepreneurs, artists, and come, come here to embark on their journey. So that's what Sailor a Dock is about. Um, we're basically inspiring to become a uh, business incubator for local artists, makers, entrepreneurs here in the state of Oklahoma to, uh, to really go after what they're passionate about. And uh, we also want to bring really a lot of attention to four really important values to us, which are community, creativity, wellness, and sustainability. From the reuse of materials and repurpose of things you wouldn't expect, like an old boat, every business that occupies the space also aligns with those four core values. You have the uh, resupply, which will be a um, farm to table cafe. There's going to be a bookshop, again, focused on education and community. And then when you come into the central market, you have eight local micro retailers. Soaps, spices, plants, a ceramic shop, and even a European coffee concept. Here at Sailor and Dock, they have it all. And if you want to come and enjoy a cocktail, they have that too. And then we have our bar, uh, the dock bar right here made out of this old sailboat that was abandoned for a number of years. Which even gives back to local charities to promote arts and creativity. Drinks aren't the only thing they're doing. They also have a 2200 square foot event space where they host art shows, uh, workshops, um, corporate events, um, basically community events of different sorts to showcase artists and the local community. We also have it available, like I said, for receptions, corporate events, and things of that nature to, um, to promote the space. After spending some time exploring, we headed over to a coffee shop that seems to take its inspiration from England's Regency era. Welcome to Peretz, an enchanting coffee experience like no other. It's a self-described cozy coffee escape that's redefining coffee time. So we're open late night. We're open 3 to 11, and that like allows people to come in. We have a lot of students who come in and study. We have families that come in after dinner. It's just a little niche that's not typically met, and then we are very intentional about like welcoming you into our home. That's what we want to do. We like want to welcome you into our space, make yourselves comfortable, just do what you feel right. And if the atmosphere wasn't enough, they also have a seasonal scratch kitchen where they make specialty pastries with flavor combinations you just have to experience to believe. And special dietary restrictions, no problem. We have a lot of gluten-free and vegan options. Like our lemon bar is both gluten-free and vegan. And then we have some blueberry crumble bars. We have like the staple chocolate chip cookie. We have a top pecan cookie. I could list all of them. A serene moment to take it all in and enjoy little tastes of Italy with another specialty, Afrogados, a decadent and light mix of ice cream and espresso. This definitely is a place that'll make time stand still. But we're kicking it up a notch and heading to OKC Cider Company, Oklahoma's only cidery in the heart of downtown OKC. The easiest thing, brewery, you're taking grains, you're brewing, you're actually putting them in water, steeping the grains, pulling the sugars out that way. All we're doing is taking apple juice and fermenting it. I am a big cider fan, so tell us about some of the most popular flavor profiles that you guys have here. Yeah, I mean, we'll start off with our naughty apple. Number one on the board, that's our flagship. Uh, it's clean, it's crisp, it's easy to drink. It's the uh, closest that we have to a traditional English cider. Number seven, the Morning Delight, our coffee-infused cider. Number eight, the Cherry Poppin'. I'm drinking a lot of the Johnny Palmer. Okay. And so that starts with our Naughty Apple, then we add black tea and lemon, just like an honor Palmer would. So this is our cider version. Okay, I think we should taste it. Let's do it. So here we've got Johnny Palmer. This was a cider we made last year for my birthday for the first time. Like I said, we're bringing in the black tea and the lemon on top of the Naughty Apple. It's clean, crisp, easy to drink, 3.4%. It's a summertime crusher. Okay, so should we try? Let's do Here it. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it is smooth, it is refreshing, and it has that cider taste to it, but it's right. not super sweet, like you said. That's what we do. It's I mean, amazing. We don't, the whole reason I started making cider is I could not find things I wanted to drink. These are lower in sugar. For the most part, we're sitting around six grams of sugar per 12 on serving. 
It's an Oklahoma brew that you can be proud of in more ways than one, and the perfect refresher before our last stop, The Social Club. Um, so we think we're unique because we're not just a shop or a salon, we're both. So while your hair is processing, you can shop or you can come in just to shop, which is the beauty of the two, the partnership. One of the most unique things about this salon is that they're completely green, which means... We recycle every single thing that we can, um, like the hair, down to the hair, the foils that come out of everyone's hair, our shampoo bottles, down to the soda that we offer clients. Um, we recycle those cans too. And clean living isn't just what they preach, it's what they practice with their clients. We're very intentional about the lines that we carry in the shop and the salon um, just so that it's bringing you joy, like the packaging is so beautiful, but then it's a really high quality product that you're putting into your hair you know, and into yourself every day. And also I love supporting like small makers or somebody else who is you know, wanting to make their own living and create something beautiful. Um, hopefully the things that we have in our shop inspire other people to do the same thing. So whether it's cool places to have a bite to eat and a cold drink, to living and supporting local sustainability, West Village is a district everyone can enjoy. From great entertainment to great eats, check out the beautiful West Village district.